What's up guys? Uh, people are always asking what's the next level of sharpness or uh, after hair whittling or how could you test uh, for an edge that's sharper than hair whittling. Uh, just messing around with a wicked edge in the strop man again today. Uh, did the Gail Bradley. Just a 1000 grit edge uh, stropped on the wicked edge and on the strop man. Um, and it produced an edge. M4 takes a really keen edge to begin with. Um, and this produced an edge that I believe is, is probably sharper than anything I've ever had. Um, it whittles hair absolutely no problem. Uh, it's actually so sharp that whittling the hair is kind of hard. Uh, you have to have a delicate touch, otherwise it just pops right through the hair. Uh, it'll treetop hair, meaning if you held up a hair and just pushed into it, it would cut the hair like you were taking the top off of a tree. You don't have to support the hair, it's just sharp enough to decapitate it. Then I did something that uh, I think is a little bit harder than both of those. This is my wife's extremely thin uh, Italian blonde hair. Um, this length of hair that's dangling right here has been whittled five times up the length of it. So I was taking cuts so shallow that it left enough hair to make a, another cut, a second cut, and then a third cut, and then a fourth cut. Uh, and then the fifth cut is what's making it dangle right here. So four cuts onto a single piece of hair. You can see the bottom. One, two, wait, there's two here. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth is what's causing the hair to dangle. So I believe that that is sharper than, than hair whittling or is a good way to test for sharpness beyond hair whittling. Uh, to get this fine of a hair to be sliced up the length of it four times is pretty amazing. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and try it again. This is what I mean by tree topping. I'm going to go ahead and cut this hair. Uh, that's what I mean by tree topping. It just knocks it off. I guess I'll go ahead and try it on camera. You have to have a really delicate touch, so I doubt I'm going to be able to do this on camera and keep it in focus. But I'll try. I'm not going to be able to do this and keep it in focus. There's no way. There's one cut. Two cut. Oh, it came off. It whittled a little piece and then it came off. I'll try and do another one on that same length. There's what I mean by it coming off. You can see that little piece of hair that I just whittled off. It's not actually attached to the hair anymore. It's just kind of dangling there, but that's how thin of pieces you can get off, how sharp this edge is. I just got another one. So now you can see two curly cues. Try and get another one. And the third. That's tree topping. Alright, I'll try and do it for real for you guys. Sorry this is drawing on. But people like seeing this stuff, uh, it seems. So I'll try and do it again. Ah.
Hmm. Can't do it on camera. It's just too delicate. I did it twice. As you can see. One curly Q, two curly Q on the same length of hair. It's really hard to do. Uh, try it out. Those are pretty good cuts though. Anyway, not going to draw this on forever. Uh, I guess I'll show show tree topping again for the people who wanted to know it's when the of course now it's not going to do it <laughs> on camera there it goes normally it takes a sharp flick to get the, like a a flick like that but when it's sharp enough you can just push through the hair like that anyway thanks for watching guys uh, if any of you guys have a suggestion for a sharpness test after hair whittling let me know because I've done the wet paper towel and all that uh, but now that I have the wicked edge and a new level of precision I'm messing around with some edges that I've never been able to achieve before so Getting to where it, it may be up there at the, the level of how sharp an edge can be. Um, you would have to measure the apex of this edge on in the order of microns. Uh, so I don't know how much further we can take it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.